Hello guys, welcome back to a new tutorial of Python compiler and how to use Python language in your computer and how to build your new programs, apps and machine learning apps with Python coding. Hey Ice Gamers and welcome back to a new video. So let's start without wasting our time. First of all, we have to find the best Python compiler to run our Python language and that is basically programmers which is a type of a web that can be used to run a python code or else we can also download it from the tab menu so we have to type here programmers python and the first one is the python online compiler you can also share your codes with everyone on the um, countryside of the python and they can see it and you can also see their codes in the library so this screen will appear when you click the first link so this is basically a menu of programmers and there are also different languages you can see in the side c++ java and main.py there are many different languages so in this video we will cover the python language in basics for the beginners and um, including all the essential variables, strings, integers and all the python functions included in this python programmer programmers. Let's write our first python code with a print command. So in the print command it prints basically that text which is in the brackets and quoted text. Let me show you an example that here is it written that print and then brackets and then codes and then here is written that pro try program is pro we can also um, change its theme like this white like in the dark and the morning in the um, white you can see also the clear option from which we can clear our output menu where our output comes after the coding and the main dot pi is our um, basically coding area where we have to write our codes Let's write our first code with a print command. Like this, we have to type a print in not in caps lock, so that will be wrong. Like this one, and then shift. You can use double quotes and single quotes, and then we will write here hello world. Like this, we can also write it in um, caps lock because it's a string, so we can. It's our choice, so we have to type it in caps lock or in not caps lock. So we have to type in caps lock so it looks bigger in the output menu like this hello world. We can also type in caps lock so there is not any error. You can see this text hello world. I have written in the quoted text and in the brackets after the print command. Print is an inbuilt function in the python language and this program is comp compiler to print the text in the output menu. So when we will run it. It will print the, this one hello world like this and then we can also um, see code execution successful. This means that our code which we have typed in the input menu is successfully completed and successfully run without any error. And if there is any error so this program is compiler will also tell us about the um, error in the code and which line and which file. Okay. So first we will delete this code and we can try more um, print values like we can also take variables such as um, variables can store um, data like numbers, integers, in the decimals and also in the text. For the text we have to um, write the text as a string so we have to put commas in the text like there I can um, use age and then I is equals to after it so that it's mean equality and then after this i have right here 20 so age is equals to 20 now the python has known that age variable has stored the value of 20 so whenever i um, print here age like this i have not put um co quoted commas for the while so i have to um, print the age not the word age but the 20 so for the variable if I um, put the quoted text so it will print this age in the string and nothing will happen like the 20. So whenever I have to put a variable value in the print command so I have to erase first these um, quoted 
inverted commas and then when i will run it so you can see there is 20 because age is equals to 20 and we have printed age so it's in the output menu you can see 20 and not any error in our code so you can try as well this code for the age recognition and then we can also change these values by age equal is equals to 30 and when i will um, run it so it will print 30 because the 30 is the latest so whenever i will run it it will print 30 not 20 show you one more example that when i will um, write this age into caps lock we can also write it so we are storing a value in the caps lock age and when i will type here um age in the caps lock so it will print 30 and when without the caps lock so it will print the 20 because age um, without caps lock match with the 20 variable so let me show you there is 20 and if i am um, remove it from the 30 um, like this this is the 30 and when we will run it so it will print 30 because it's the caps lock one and let me show you price um, is equals to this one 19.38 so we can also take um, integers and we can also take numbers with decimals in the python so it's make easy for maths to um, solve sums and divisions so age is equals to 20 price is equals to 19.38 okay in the python compilers the 19.38 the numbers with the decimal is called a integer and like this i have printed here a uh, first then um underscore and then name so when i will not uh, um, write the underscore so you can see this how congested this is and not readable easily so we have to type a uh, underscore between it so we can read it easily or we can else get create a gap in there by a space bar okay so now here i have typed um this yet okay first name is equals to sayyad and why is not showing that in the green text because there is an error you can see this file main.py line 3 in variable name error name w is not defined we can um, debug this code so we have to type a string here in the invited commas and then write a sayyad a string is always a combination of letters and sayyad is also a combination of letters so we have to type um, commas on the top of it so we can run the command that first name is equals to sayyad any error so let me show you um, here i will type first name so it will print the sayyad because the first name variable has stored the value of Sayyid. Let me run it. Yes. Here you can see that it's Sayyid. So let's move on to the variables. We have um, proceeded our print command and then our um, variable command that how can we store a variable and print a variable to our output. So let's end this video with a small exercise. Create a program for hospital which includes patient's name age and blood group so when we have to print it in the output command so we will type here a print and then you can see the exercise is printed because it's um, shown in green here you can see a error line 5 because we have duplicated it and now when we will run it's a error because of the um, unsignificant um, gap in the line um four okay so first we have to erase that and now we can see that there in the output we can read that write a program for a hospital which includes patient name age and blood group so let's end our video because it's 10 minutes and we have learned um variables how to use variables and how to print variables we have um completed our print command in this video um, variable command so in the next video we will cover our how to take the input from the user and use in in the output command that how to print a welcome message for the user when the user will enter her name his name so it will print hello and after that 
the variable name stored in the category so wait for the next video till then bye bye